Okay, we got a question from Brigu. In my gym, we have a farmer walk and sled push test. The test is as follows. 100 meter farmer walk with two kettlebells at 20 kilos each. 100 meter sled push, 80 kilos, 176 pounds. 100 meter farmer walk now heavier with uh, 24 kilos and 100 meter sled push with 176. So farmer walk, sled push, farmer walk, sled push. Yeah. The goal is to try to finish this circuit as fast as possible. That's uh, 400 meters of uh, pushing and pulling. That's pretty good. The current gym record is 430. My timing time is 530. Any tips on how to, I can get better at this test? Oh, yeah. Uh, face it like a track athlete. Um, one thing you might want to do sometime is uh, show up with maybe half loads. So uh, instead of 10 kilos in hands and 24, go 10 and 12. Instead of 80, go 40. And do it as fast as you can with those lighter loads and see if that's what what impact that has on your test. Um, because if you get like 330, which can that be roaring, basically that tells me you're not strong enough. Um, maybe do an occasional, so I would do that test first. And then after that, do a, a super loaded one, as much loads as you could, you know, I don't know, whatever you got, kilos wise, but you could even just do the double 24s is simply or if you have heavier kilos, uh, heavier bells, go from there. And with the sled push, you know, um, you know, you're not going to get much. Ninety or hundred kilos is really at the at the top. I mean, you, you really just it just becomes a <laughs> the equipment. It just digs in so much. You really don't get much out of it. But so a half one racing, and then kind of double loaded one or looking at double, but you know a heavier load. And look at those two times. Uh, I would have a couple of days in between those. So you're, you're fairly fresh. Look at the two times and see what the impact of the load is having on your test. Um, if I were you, I would build up to um, maybe three rounds of the test uh, about once every two weeks. That'll be tough. So, But, but here's, here's the caveat. Uh, so you do the farmer walk with 12 kilos and you do the sled push with 40 or 60 kilos. You do it full rest period. I mean, 10, 15 minutes, whatever it takes. You do it full rest period and then you do it and you practice uh, the test. Uh, like I'd have a 400 meter runner. Um, very often we'd have them run three really hard 400 meters. That's why I always like dual meets for my uh, athletes. Uh, Dual meets for preparing track and field athletes, uh, it's it's the best. If you if you can get your 400 meter person to run the open 400 meters, the four by four, and then another event, either the 200 or whatever you can figure out uh, figure out by by the schedule, whatever it is. Uh, when they have the baton in their hand, they run and they're racing. They run much faster and differently than when we're training. So if you're a track coach and you can get two dual meets uh, early in the season a week, that is your training. You don't, I mean, really, track practice becomes uh, warm up, you know, form work, a few other things, but the, the real actual training happens uh, at the meet. So yeah, I would say that that those would be my ideas. Test it light, test it heavy, and then build up to the test. I would spend the bulk of your time uh, preparing for this with lighter loads, going faster, trying to get yourself at that 430 mark. Try to find a load that gets you at 430. And the load honestly could be, you know, a hundred meter walk back and forth, uh, 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 an empty sled, uh, a walk back and forth and an empty sled. You know, if that, you know, if that takes you I don't know, two minutes, then, you know, then that'll give you an idea what the load is really doing for you. And it is adding that two and a half uh, uh, minutes. So practice the event itself, I would say at least twice a week with lighter loads and build up to the triple day every other week for a while. Okay, that's just a spitball, but I think it'll work. Thank you.